good morning students today we are going to learn computer chapter number 1 generations of computer so when we are talking about generation of computer a question comes to our mind what is the meaning of generation in computer see here generation of computer means remarkable improvement or growth and development in the computer technology the the growth of computer took place in five distinct phases called computer generation so one by one we are going to learn all these generations of computer okay we are going to learn all these generation of computer this is a flow chart this helps you to find out how the generation of computer can be identified so first of all we are going to learn about the first generation computer see here the first generation computer started in 1946 its makers used thousands of vacuum tubes which were often huge taking up the space of entire room it was too huge it was too big they were very expensive the first generation computers used machine language which was the lowest level programming language used understood by the computer see oh, the first generation computer was very big in size the operating speed was very slow they were very expensive they used the device called vacuum tubes and the first generation computers were eniac and univac see there were few drawbacks of the computer which are they produce a lot of heat they were not reliable and they used the machine language which is a low level programming language now look at second generation computer it was started in the late 1950s it used transistors in place of vacuum tubes okay it was quite faster than the first generation computer see a uh, few of the example of uh, generation computers are ibm 140 mark 3 and leo clear the second generation computer used assembly language instead of machine language okay the features of second generation computers are the size was smaller than the first generation computer the operating speed was was quite faster the cost got reduced but still uh, it had some drawbacks they produced a lot of heat the speed was not too fast and the memory was less okay now let's learn third generation computer the third generation computer started in the mid of 1960s the development of integrated circuit was a major big breakthrough resulting in the introduction of the third generation computers the transistors were replaced by the integrated circuit also known as semiconductor chips okay a uh, few of the second gen third generation computers were um IBM 360 ICL 1900 and CDC the features of third generation computer are the size became smaller than first and second generation they were more reliable users interacted with keyboards and monitors which interfaced with a with an operating system they generated less less heat they used high level language like cobol and fortran now let's look at fourth generation computer the fourth generation computers started in 1971 and it used microprocessor for the first time the size of the computer became very small as thousands of integrated circuits were built into a single silicon chip these computer became more powerful and they they could be linked together to form a network which led to the development of an internet intel 4004 macintosh ibm 370 these are the example of fourth generation computer and they used a new programming languages like c c++ java etc 
In the year 1981, IBM introduced the first personal computer for the home user, which is also known as PC. Okay. At the same time, Apple, a company, introduced the Macintosh. The features of fourth generation computers are they used microprocessors, they are multipurpose computer, they are accurate and reliable. The operating speed was very fast. The operating speed was very fast. Now, let's look at the fifth generation computer. See, the fifth generation computer is still in development and it started present and beyond. So, we cannot uh, tell the time, exact time. Okay. It started right after the fourth generation computer. Clear. The fifth generation computers are based on artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Okay. They are still in development. There are many uh, uh, features are to be added in fifth generation computer the main goal of the fifth generation computer is to develop the computers that can respond to natural language and are capable of learning and taking their own decisions okay the best example of fifth generation computer is the robot okay now the people are trying to make a robot that that they can sense the environment they can respond to any of the languages if the question is asked in any of the language so today we have learned about generation of computer thank you